Looking at the bright lights of downtown Nashville from our Nissan Stadium camera, it's Friday night and the honky tonks, they are full on Broadway. But the bands filling the streets with music tonight might not be the ones you'll be hearing on the radio in just a few years. Although they are reaching new audiences right on their phones. News 2's Adam Mincer reports on the way artists are making it in 2022. If you've ever had a mood swing, this one's for you. It's called, you guessed it, Mood Swing. It takes years to be an overnight success, and singer-songwriter Emma Kleinberg is putting in the work to get there. Just to make a video that looks this casual takes time. It's easy to be like, I didn't anticipate being a video editor in my life. That wasn't something I thought I'd do, and now I spend hours every day editing TikToks that I'm making, you know? But in the Nashville music scene now, she says that's what you have to do to make it. You could change in one way or another. You Kleinberg is doing well on TikTok. Some of her videos have been viewed millions of times, one reaching more than 4 million viewers. No one really gets it. Um, but I will say that when I've had some videos do well, I'll be, it'll be like the hot button topic for a minute where people will be like, oh, like you're doing this, you're doing that. Um, for me, in my experience, nothing major has come of it yet, but hopefully soon. That's kind of what every musician is hoping for when they're posting TikToks. Because just being good and playing gigs isn't enough. I imagine if somebody who was an A&R was out of the show and saw somebody on Broadway that was incredible, their first thing they would do is go see how many followers they have on social media. Music marketing experts say social media sites like TikTok and Twitch can be a crystal ball for people in the industry. They can use these apps to see who these artist fans are already and crunch the numbers to see if they might be a hit. Record labels used to sign an act, spend a lot of money. They would invest, you know, 500,000, a million or more in that act without really having any kind of assurance that they were going to get a good return on that investment. And now they're looking more to hedge their bets. So what about getting a sense for that it factor in a new artist? Actually, the A&R people still have that gut feeling, you know, that it's, and they still use that even to this day. Sitting on a bench. So rather than chasing the latest craze, trend, or hot thing, Kleinberg is sticking to her gut, posting content she would like to see and writing songs she wants to hear. Don't cater your entire artistry to meet the needs of a social media platform that nobody understands. And Kleinberg tells me even though gigging at a honky tonk won't necessarily get you signed, Nashville is still the best place to be for her and other upcoming artists. She says the creative energy and collaborative nature of the city is unmatched. Bob?